Okay, guys, we, we got the 2013. Is it 14 or 13? 2013 or 2014 Honda Recon 250. Brake pedal is sticky. Will not return. And what we're going to look at. Get down in there. Light. We're gonna try to get to that pivot down there. We believe to be the culprit. Um, don't know if there's a bushing in there. Sorry, I'm having a hard time getting light in there. I don't know if there's a bushing in there or what's going on. Hoping to get a look at it. Get back with you shortly. One more quick note. I have done a little bit of checking and experimenting with the cable, return spring. Everything seems to be okay, I think. And the reason I'm going after this pivot point is because I think it's the culprit, not anything else. But it's hard to tell with everything connected so I'm gonna get this guy off and at the very least clean it and lubricate it uh, if that doesn't fix it I'll know it's something else I've already got a new rear brake cable for this um, but I'm hoping to keep it in the box is the goal all right I have found I need to remove the foot grip And a lot of the foot well, which is held in by a lot of these push pin style fasteners. Uh, this guy's five mil. And he is right there attaching to that steel support to support the rear fender uh, where the foot well and the fender connect and I found that just getting that off is enough I can manipulate this out of the way enough to get down there sorry about the lighting here just got into this repair and thought it should should evade help somebody out so I have good access got a pin cotter pin holding that Brake lever on the pivot point there, so looks like another washer. This is a point I've never, never but lubricated. I'm sure you're supposed to. We never have. It's a miracle it's held on this long. Um, this thing has been submerged to the seat regularly out of town. So, for anyone else, I guess, doing this repair, I suppose we're all learning the hard way that that thing might need an occasional drop of oil or spray of WD. I fully intend on doing that from this point on. It's way quicker and easier than this. But uh, this thing, the, the way it sticks, it's so sticky that and, and it won't return. I know that it's it's got to be that. So anyway, back to it. Springs are off. Leaving the cable attached for now, mainly because I'm trying to make this as simple as possible and not remove anything that's not necessary. The way this thing is resisting. Coming off, I'm almost certain it's this. I'm going to have to get a pry bar. There it is from the underside. Got the pin out. It did not want to come out easily. Again, everything is giving up quite the fight here. It looks really dry, slightly corroded. I'm even more and more confident that this is it. It's really putting up a fight. I've been prying off the frame a little bit. Um, it does not want to come off. I'm going to try a little lubrication. I... Can't tell if there's a bushing in there or not yet. Um, 
it kind of seems like there is, but the clearance seems really snug. Uh, there's no slack in this thing at all. Uh, but, uh, you know, I can't, again, I can't tell if, the, if there's just a mark left from the washer that I've since pulled off after the pin. The pin did not make it. Uh, this is a pin that I probably would have reused. There are things that I will not reuse cutter pins on, brakes, things a little bit more important, bearings and stuff like that. They're a little buried, even though I suppose I've used plenty, reused plenty on bearings, but this one did not make it. It's going to be getting replaced. Let me get a little WD in there. Put my little pan there to keep the tile clean. Four boys, garage floor. <laughs> so we're going to get a little WD-40 on there and see if this thing, if that'll help loosen it up uh, and get back with you. Okay, back on the recon. Got it off. Uh, realized I don't own a pry bar or a hammer big enough and had to go to the puller. It was putting up quite the fight. Broke one side of the puller. That side should actually look like that. But uh, that piece is now over here. Uh, as you can see, this thing is pretty corroded. And I had to go ahead and take the wheel well off. Um, just couldn't get everything I needed to in here. I had... High hopes that you could just pry this thing off, and that was not working. Um, you can see why. So let this be a lesson to all of us huh. who don't necessarily look for every lube point uh, on our machines. Uh, you know, this thing's had a lot of mud and underwater activity, and uh, I'm really paying the price here. A couple minutes of lubrication. If this thing had, you know, been lubricated and was able to come off easily, I couldn't even imagine this being a 10 minute job and I've probably got four hours in it uh, at this point uh, between uh, over the course of two two different days started the other night and uh, back on it today one boy garage <laughs> summertime the other three boys are at the pool but somebody's got to get this stuff done so uh, you can see there is a small dust seal on there, and that's what had appeared to me as like some kind of a bushing, but it's a very thin rim, uh, you know, like a grease seal. Uh, it probably, well, obviously is not watertight. I do plan on using marine grease on this um, just to help. Uh, you know, it has extra additives that resist corrosion uh, and just do a does a better job overall than automotive grease but I'm gonna clean this thing up um, obviously need to strip the corrosion off of here uh, you can see the damage done by the puller actually there's some there's some damage on this back side of this I mean, this thing was just putting up one heck of a fight. It's a good angle on there. Tried to stay, tried to stay away from the seal, but uh, just unreal, unreal. I will not be ordering a new one of those. It's gonna go right back on, but uh, again, incredible. Uh, how stuck this thing was. Uh, so, do yourself a favor. If you're going to jump into this project, just have the puller with you or go at it with the puller because I would have to imagine if yours is sticking like this was, it's not going to slide off for you either. <laughs> so, get this thing cleaned up and see you in a few. Alright, you can kind of see in there some of the pitting and corrosion uh, on this thing. And, you know, the damage that I've added to it with the puller on the, the side here. But 
if you notice this uh these seals are are a lot like a grease seal for a bearing and they have the the numbers on them uh what i can make out is an e17 and uh what looks like an S. It looks a lot more like an S to me than a than a 5, but it could be a 5, 0. So it's an S, 0 or a 5, 0. Sorry, I'm struggling with the focus here on that. And then a 17, 23, 3. I think that's the dimensions uh, all in millimeters. And usually that's the three numbers they need for um, one of these. So you may be able to source it locally, your hardware, if you wanted to pop them out. I don't have any. Didn't order any of these. Was not expecting this, but I have looked it up now. <laughs> this whole thing is a little more complex than I had imagined, but... In any case, they're about four bucks a piece uh, on Partzilla. The brake pedal itself is about thirty-five dollars. Um, I am going to order a couple of these seals just to have them for next time we take this off to lubricate and maybe be able to clean it up a little bit better. For now, I'm just trying to clean it up, get it lubed. Anything's going to be better than what was going on in there before. Spit would have done a better job than what we had going on. So I'm going to finish cleaning this up. Um, I don't know if you've, you know, I've been trying to use a combination of a toolbox toothbrush that I keep and a little bit of the battery terminal cleaner to try to get in there and work on some of that. But I'm really trying to take care of that seal because, as I said, I don't have any. I thought before I cleaned them off that I'd be able to pop them out. And I grabbed a hold of them, and, and they did not want to give, and I wiped them off, only to find that they did appear to be, you know, a reinforced grease seal, like for, you know, pressed in. And they definitely feel like they're pressed in. So maybe do yourself a favor and order a couple. It certainly help you out. All right, get back to clean this up. wanted to show this. I just was doing a little test. This is still... Uh, not lubricated uh, at all but I just wanted to kind of show I was just doing a test to see how the fitment was and it is a tight clearance there's a depression in the stem there I don't know why I can't get the focus here but uh, you can see that depression there I plan on filling that with grease. Uh, I know these seals are going to wipe most of it off uh, with the exception of that, but I'm going to put a light coat on it and also inside the pedal. But it is super... Oops, sorry about that. I don't have to help them with cameras today, but it's super tight, but it will go on. Again, you can hear that it's screaming for a little bit of lubrication, but... I just want to give an idea of how tight this thing is. So it is crucial to keep this uh, clean and lubricated. So if yours is working normally and you're in the shop doing lubrication, diffs, oil, do yourself a favor. Pull that pin and slide this thing off while you can still move it. And maybe clean it up and re-lubricate it. And you'll never be having to watch a video like this again. So, uh, anyway, just wanted to show that quick test. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing lubricated up and get it put back on. One quick thing I haven't noted yet is that the original rear brake cable is functioning normally. I have one already. Uh, initially, when we discovered this was sticking, that was what I assumed was the culprit. Wanted to have part in hand. In the event that it was well it turns out the new one is not needed and i won't use it i'm gonna hold on to it order a few more of the seals potentially a pedal uh maybe have the ability to overhaul this thing again in the future at some point 
uh, just keep them in the box for now. But wanted to note that the original brake cable is still functioning normally, and as you would expect from Honda, uh, had I been better about lubrication, I wouldn't even be doing this project. But uh, you know, I think a lot of us, even when we're trying our best, don't get everything, and this is certainly one I overlooked. I'll be checking all the Yamahas as well. Uh, and the CRF uh, that all have rear brake pedals like this. So, I mean, this doesn't even just apply to Honda ATV, Recon, I mean, anything with the rear brake pedal, I'm sure is very similar to this. And uh, I'm sure is a lubrication point that I can't be the only one that's missing it. <laughs> but I won't anymore. Another quick tip on this. Uh, brake cable it does need to come off um, and start in the back remove the adjuster and spring and then the entire brake cable needs to come forward um, obviously when you're removing it would be in the opposite order but this brake pedal has two points here that kind of just slides it kind of slides all the way through from the one side And into this hole so this is slotted out to allow for this and then it needs to roll backwards uh, go ahead and, oops, sorry. roll this back uh, you do have to Pull that boot back to allow the cable to slide through there and allow that to go through there. And then you'll have to slip this boot back up and over. I can't do it one-handed here. I'm just trying to get some video of this on my phone because I severely underestimated this project. And I know I can't be the only one. So, just using the old phone here to get some video clips the best I can of this project as it moves along. Um, and it's just everything's just been too tight for a tripod in here from the beginning of this project. So, in any case, I wanted to give, uh, you know, a little bit of insight on, on doing that for, uh, anyone who may not be able to figure it out or be kind of hung up on it. Or at least, uh, like myself, I try to know what I'm doing before I go in, make the project quicker and easier. So at least you know exactly what you're doing as you move through. So anyway, there's uh, there's that. I'm going to finish putting this together. All right. All back together. Operating smoothly again uh, One thing I'm not sure if I cover in the beginning say it again. Uh, that's a five mil and obviously these push pins Seem to be all over these Hondas um, I, You know, I wasn't sure how I felt about these things, but you know for all these plastic to plastic joints They are what they are and after a project like this the battle that's put up they've actually been quite nice to you know, just push them in and be done with it. <laughs> 10 mil down here. Uh, and that's all we had to do. The, ten, the two 10 mils and the 5 mil and the push pins. Uh, and the whole wheel well, you know, pops out. You just have to manipulate it a little bit um, around the brake pedal, uh, both off and back on. Um, you know, having the, the wheel well off in the beginning, in hindsight now, would have been huge. Just fighting, you know, that tight space in there, trying to cheat and not get everything apart. But I thought the thing would come off. So, you know, do yourself a favor. Just pop this thing off. Get out of your way. It's pretty easy. Um, I put a little anti-seize on those bolts and this guy. Um, just a dab. Not too much. Don't want them to fall out, but uh, 
you know those things are down in the war zone mud grit water uh, make them a little easier to come off next time I thought that it, I thought they were gonna shear uh, but they didn't so uh, anyway this projects over rear brake pedal who would have thought uh, anyhow if this was helpful do us a favor like and subscribe